Just gotta f follow this dude. Yeah, let's follow the glowy footsteps, and it should lead me to where I need to go. I prefer not suddenly getting raffle stomped by about... Whatever that is! I will understand, of course, if Sherry starts streaming, you might need to keep an eye on her more. She is the more... Oh, God. Bigger priority. But still, thanks for uh, coming to watch. Oh, God, this thing... Ah, this is not going well. Oh, this is definitely not going well. <laughs> I can't do it. In the name of science, I must know what that item is. I just will just run past these little fucks. I must know. It is in the interest of science. That's a valid argument, uh, usually, right? Let's do this. There we go. I always wonder where they keep this stuff on them, because they don't really wear clothes with pockets. But I think it's maybe a better question. Maybe that's a question that should never be answered. <laughs> he had soft cotton! Why do I have a feeling that he actually fell to his death and he just forgot- Oops, forgot to equip the soft cotton. Um... Hello? Who might you be? Foul tarnished. What do you want? Well, good I morning to you, too. Brute, that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was um, my other half not enough? Hold on. What are you talking I about? I told the all-hearing brute already. That I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Well, she's unfriendly. Uh, for now, which usually means they're actually friends. I told the old here that I possess, or have you come to was my other home? Strip of white flesh, but now I at least know what they can drop. Like the giant crabs are never friendly, so I don't expect the giant lobsters to be any more friendly. That would be a surprise, although it could be at some point maybe a very big friendly lobster. You know, we have giant enemy crabs, so why can't we have giant friend lobster? Now let's see where our little stargate will lead us to. Oh. Well, I see this is an absolute win. There we go. These things don't give me uh, much in the way of items, but... Um... Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I need 20 strength? Really? It's a great shield? What the hell? Pretty sure it's jelly does not make for a good shield, but what do I know? Be a lord. Maybe. Who the fuck knows? Could this be a door? No, I think it's a hatch. Just a vertical one. Knew it. That was too obvious. Oh, holy hell. Now, what would you look at that? You a big boy! So they brought back a giant smith. Guess they have been in demand, huh? Yo, dog. What you reading? You know? Book of the Good Lord? Maybe something different. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. Can't imagine I why. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Well, you know, just seeing the sights. Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? He's a I friendly dude. Eiji, 
A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Sure. Uh, what does he have? Ooh, he sells the good stuff. Uh, strength and armaments. When did I get all these? Works for me. Don't get me wrong. Please take care. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. Fair enough. You know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Talk. Brave Tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucari Academy turned on the Karians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Karians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor. Unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> um. Blatant. Blythe. Blythe. Actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. About I've advice. Okay, that, that's I just. A... Now what? Uh. This place is creepy. Gotcha, oh, bitch! what the hell? Oh, that. Oh, no. Ow. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me! The hell is that? Oh no! Hand sp spider hands or hand spiders or whatever you want to call them. Oh, that is. Oh God, that is not what I need. Just something I want to check. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that all about? Oh God! Hey. <laughs> I am not comfortable with this. Poor bastard. Huh? Excuse me, what? It's a whip. Oh, okay. But I require 19 decks. Damn it! That was a weird looking whip. I was hoping maybe there is. The hell? Okay, I first want to know this whip fake. What the hell?
Uh, this weapon made of extremely thin, flexible blades of metal is wielded like a whip by nightfolk warriors. Though in essence a whip with a cutting edge, it can also be used as a spear to pierce foes. Huh? That's interesting. Okay, what do we have here? Hello? Uh oh. It does stop, right? Oh wait, I remember it said that I should... Well, it is passage we're talking about here, so I'm not sure if I should take that advice. There we go. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Patch just said that this thing could take me where I want to be. But something tells me he is talking out of his ass. That guy, you never know whether he's actually telling you the truth or not. I hope everybody enjoyed the stream for today. And I will see if there's anything else interesting to do. Until then, adios and bye-bye.